Hello, welcome to the Sushiko Live streaming. This is uh, Tsushi, and this is the Sushiko Live. So I will do the Sushiko stitching while I talk about Sushiko. I did not bring any topic today. Did I bring something? No. Um, so I will start talking about something random, and if there's any questions that I can answer, I will try to answer that. If I forget about any questions from the previous live streaming, please let me know, and uh, please be advised that this is not a place to... Uh, this is not a lecture, this is not a webinar, this is not a tutorial, this is, this is not a class. Uh, it's a place for us to stitch together, so if it's a technical question, please go to my YouTube videos or new course or online class, um, somewhere that I can help, so not the live streaming. Um, any questions about culture or mindset, those are welcome. All right, I will move to the running stitch. Just let me... Oh, I did not bring any topic today. As, well, so my wife, my families are... My families? No, my, my wife and daughter are in Israel right now, so I'm here by myself. And when I'm um, when I am my <laughs> when I am by myself, I try to do a lot of things for the house. <laughs> so I'm now painting the room, I mean bathroom, changing the flooring, trying to change the floor flooring. And what else? Actually those those are two big two big jobs right now. Not a job, project. So, it's more like, <laughs> it's busier than usual. I'm wondering if you had the same, um, I'm sorry, thank you so much for the question, Helen. I am wondering if you had the same Ask Us discussion with the Japanese group. Oh, that's a good question. Hmm, let me, we, we briefly talked about it, we really did not discuss about it like we did last time um but we we mentioned that i talked about it briefly in the live streaming too S mm, that's a good question what did they think about what do they think about <laughs> That's a really good... I will ask them again, but um, it did not become the discussion because discussing about it is already a sign of ask culture. So we mentioned about it, but I don't think we got into any discussion. We kind of mutually sort of guessed, agreed to move on. Or did I do did I, did we come to any conclusion? That's a very good question. I don't remember that. I'll be more attentive ne next time. In my understanding though, um Many Japanese suffer from that, those two cultures, ask and guess, because <laughs> it is the cultural difference. At the same time, it can be the generational difference. Uh, my generation, per se, I, I'm the f I, I am going to be 40 this year. Um, my generation is the mix of guess and ask. But in order to be sort of successful, one may have to have the ask culture. At least they have to understand what the ask culture is like. So... Interestingly though, there are two kind of 
like we have both ask culture people and also guest culture people in the sashiko community in japan um i kind of assume that many people are more like a guest culture or originated in the sashiko community but that's not always true that's why i like my the community i like uh, that's why i like the community i belong to uh, there's so many different so many different opinion different feeling different ideas but the environment i grew up with was quite guest based and the people the friends i talked to about this cultural difference the last japanese discussion was mainly those who has the guest culture and i'm one of those so that was the reason that is the reason i don't remember a lot we did not come to any conclusion or any uh, no, nothing just just leave it there as is and <laughs> we kept guessing i guess There's one kind of question or one like mind food. I would say this is mind food. So I respect the culture of asking questions. And let's say 30 years ago, 40 years ago, asking was a good idea to learn something, the answer. When you ask the question to the professor, the professor has the answer. Uh, any publication had or have the answer. So when we talked about when we talk about the answer, it was not so variety. <laughs> they didn't. The answer did not have the variety much in the past. Right now, because of the internet, we can make any answers, right? Like, I can be any specialist in any moment by just saying I'm the expert. I mean, you know, I have to cover my... <laughs> cover my ass if I make mistakes. But I can pretend. And the people like us, we ask Google or Google browser to get the answer but we will we would i would keep looking for the answers that I, that i would like to get so the answer itself is not so absolute anymore like how do we know that it's the answer In, publications can be self-published right now. I mean, you know, of course, the public publication from the publisher is more more filtered, I guess, uh, more checked, went through, supervised, checked. So the crazy idea will not be published that much, but those media or publishers also can be quite biased. So how do we find the answer as the answer when we ask without guessing it? That's a, that's a, my go, my biggest question might be there. Like I say I don't know about Sashiko. The whole picture. I know my Sashiko. I know the Sashiko I have been practicing because that's what I do. But I never say that I know the whole picture of Sashiko and in fact I have never said 
correct me or <laughs> if you have heard that something like this before please let me know but I don't think I have said that you can learn everything in this account or in this channel like you don't have to look further I have never said that word like no look further here like you know you, you, what you need to know is all here I don't think I've said that in fact I would probably say that this is just the beginning so please explore the different kind of sashiko it's because that's my honest feeling this is just beginning like you know by just looking at the japan trip that i was in those two weeks we have three teachers and those three teachers are all different and i cannot teach on their behalf because they are so different so we have to kind of choose the answer we want and when we have a choice to choose those when we have a luxury to choose the answer which answer will be the answer and then that's going to be the so my question is going to lead to so that's going to be the culture of believing it, right? Believing. Believe. So ask and guess, and then now it's kind of culture of believing it. That believing it can, can be kind of scary because, you know, believing something blindly or b believing something without a doubt is quite dangerous. But in order to kind of balance it, I think we have to guess, imagine what is the answer behind what they say. Ah, it's so difficult. Answer is a little tricky word. Because I, I think I can make the answer I think the I can make the answers that they or like the majority of people want to hear uh, which I did not and I don't want to um, but to kind of compromise or to to open up that little easier so if I deny every possible um, ask people by saying that you have to be the guest people guess like a guessing culture people then my goal of delivering the message is not gonna be achieved because i am kind of separating those two people so the course on domestica is one answer that i can sort of compromise based on the question that i would be able to make there are better answers though uh, i know what they are asking and i wish i could say that but i don't want to lie but if i wanted to um if i didn't mind lying about it then i know what the answer is i mean i know what the answer they want is ah but is that really the answer ah. So that kind of thing is going on. I think it's it's happening everywhere. It can be, you know, I'm just doing sashiko, but it can be any cultural practice. But I'm kind of a little bit tired of realizing that we only look at what we want to believe that faith belief those are really good and without that we it's kind of sad you know it's, it's gonna be sad i mean beliefs makes our life more much brighter more powerful so without beliefs that's you know really difficult we we have to have beliefs faith
at the same time, we have to... Not we have to. You, I would like to. <laughs> I would like to keep doubting my beliefs, too. I mean, we have to have a core beliefs. Like, for example, I believe that all humans are decent. It's like, a, you know, all humans are born good. Many people might say it's a stupid idea, but I kind of feel that. That's more like a, my belief. I might be wrong. That might be, you know, this might be very naive belief, but I would like to believe that every people, human beings are decent. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So without belief, that's really difficult to keep it going. At the same time, the belief can be the obstacle to see what it is. So I hope that what I share is going to offer another side of, I mean, the actually the other side of the stories of Sashiko, which I'm pretty sure that this has not been introduced yet in the domestic course to be honest I was kind of afraid or scared or worried about me not sharing enough the contents wise for me it's really not a lot of contents <laughs> If you watch this live, if you have been watching this live streaming for like three years or four years, you may, it might be just the, you know, rep repetition of everything I have said already. There are one or two ideas that I have not done that on the internet, but that's just because it's not about Sashiko much. So th there are techniques or there are ideas that I have not mentioned about it before in the public place on the domestic course so it's a great you know I, I hope it's a good course and you know you can learn that but that's not really sashiko <laughs> that's related to sashiko that's more like a preparation to do sashiko but because of those like a there are a lot of preparation to do sashiko and that's an introduction class so it has to be like that but i was worried about getting kind of negative reviews about like not sharing enough or not entertaining enough but I guess that's what we are at right now something I think it's normal is something we I have to share a lot more I often use this analogy but I like ketchup when I eat fries I don't know what you like but I like ketchup I am introducing fries to somebody who has never had fries before and I am trying to share that ketchup is my preference to dip but those people who I'm sharing those what the fries are, or like what the potato fries, french fries are, they consider, they tend to think that my preference is the answer. So they start thinking that we have to eat fries with ketchup. They don't have to. If they want to, that's great, because that's my preference, but they don't have to. How can I introduce... How can... And also, because of that, ketchup was so famous, many other people are still saying that the ketchup is the answer for the fries. So now, in that new country, new nations that they did not know about the fries, they think that ketchup is the answer. Not because of, not because, not only because of me, not only because of somebody else, but the, um, collective action of introducing fries define that ketchup is the answer how can I introduce mustard to those people who think that ketchup is the answer 
without saying that's not a, you know, that's not incorrect. That's not wrong, but that's not everything. There are people who might not like ketchup. So we cannot just define that we have to eat fries with ketchup. But when I encounter those such a discussion, I feel like that sometimes. Well, you know, that's great, but it's not the whole picture. I don't know what I'm talking about, so this is the problem of the starting live streaming without any topic. But I think we, I have to, I not have to, I would like to make more analogies so that I can explain well. Something very simple is missing. That's fine. I feel like we need some bridge. Well, but again, like, it is my pleasure to see many people start open, opening up their mind as well. And that's why I'm not really worried about it much. Three years ago, I was very worried about it. That's why I think my account were kind of on the fire sometimes they they caught a fire uh, there were pretty negative comments but I don't see them anymore I'm pretty sure that there are those possibility of getting nasty comments but I don't really have them anymore and I think that's because I made myself clear by now Or probably they stop stitching, so she go, well, that's why I don't, you know, I only value those who stitch. But either way, I'm not worried about it. I just want to see how, what, what I can do more. Yeah, I got to keep stitching. That's one thing for sure. I don't know how long it's going to take to make this 100, 100 meter basunoha, but... It's going to be one achievement to explain my philosophy. I might get completely bored before that, but at least I can do it right now. Well, actually, this is a good pattern to stitch and talk. I don't have to think about it much. Yeah, that'd be great if you could bring the... Your, any project it doesn't have to be such a cool, but something that you can move your hand while listening to this or watching this. Or... <laughs> How many meters do you have done so? Ah. How many meters do you have done now? Um, about fifty, I guess. A little bit over fifty. Um, before Japan trip, I completed about forty something meters so and after that i've been stitching quite a lot so probably most um go to the if you don't mind going to the my youtube videos there's a try trailer of the my domestic course in that trailer uh, they layered about 20 or 30 of those like 30 or 20 you know 20 30 of those fabrics stitched fabric i was in the middle of making those and then they asked me what the heck is that and i told them like i'm gonna make it like 100 meter and then they said well, then what you know then what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do with that <laughs> I don't have any problem. I don't have any plans for that. Then they said, like, why don't you, why don't we cover you with that, wrap you with that? And that's how I'm under this fabric. So it's on the 
trailer. Um, if you find this contradicting, that's perfectly fine too, because I often say that Sashiko's principle or the core is to stitch for the survival for the purpose. It's the beauty in usage. Um, the purposeful stitching is the actual original form of sash I mean, Sashiko. So what I do right now is kind of outside of the Sashiko's definition. It is Sashiko, I hope, I think. But that's kind of, you know, contradiction. If you feel contradiction, you are on the right spot. I am doing something really like contradicted. I don't wanna wanna change direction, so I'm gonna move to the next fabric again. That's a lot, thank you. Well let's see. <laughs> and, and, and to be honest, I'm getting very very bored. But I said hundred meters, so I have to like one thing I don't like is that I don't like to take it back. I am a very stubborn and I don't like breaking the parts. So <laughs> you may say it's kind of crazy, but I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> It's not that much of the work. The Japanese people, the, the, the Japanese friend, the Sashiko friend, they did not stop me doing this, which means that they think they, they think I can do it. In fact, when I said that I will do ten meter, they said their reaction was that's it. Ten meter is just a piece of cake, which is probably true. Ten meter is not that difficult. And then I said a kilometer, which is like a thousand meter, which is a thousand yard, a thousand hundred yard. Then they stopped me. So hundred meter is kind of there. Well, that's doable. So let's see how he can do it. You are finding how very orderly that is. Yes, yes. So, I think there was one incident to start this, uh, start the, this stitching hundred meter. It's not out of nowhere. There was a question or some criticism that I received two years ago. That no, hmm? it's instant, but it's probably not somebody's word. Ah, ah, probably this one. Um, I changed the questions two years ago. I, I used to ask, why do you call it Sashiko? And that was purely out of my curiosity. If they, you know, call it Sashiko, I just wanted to know why they call it Sashiko. But um, that was a bad <laughs> usage of my English because that could... The phrase, why do you call it Sashiko, could interpret it or sound like criticism. Uh, usually it becomes a criticism or irony or even passive aggressive um, accusation. <laughs> I did not know that. Um, so I decided to not use that phrase. Instead, I now ask, what do you like about Sashiko? And when I ask that, what do you like about Sashiko? Not many people said the running stitch or, you know, rhythm. In fact, nobody said that from, like, when I exclude my friends, students or friends that I have, no one said that it's a rhythm. So, and the majority of the answer was stitching the pattern, pattern is so much fun. And then I said, it does not matter what pattern I stitch, as long as I can be stitching in the rhythm and that makes me happy and that's the kind of fun part of Sashiko and somebody said, well, why don't you then keep just stitching the parallel lines, it was like parallel, like linear lines 
then um, kind of sh probably she or he meant that you know if you don't care about the patterns why don't you stitch these straight lines over and over and I thought that would be a nice idea to do it to kind of kind of explain it is really true that the pattern does not matter much I mean I get bored of course but you know it's not the pattern is not the most important thing in Sushiko, in my understanding. Pattern is important, but not the most important thing. And you don't want to do the parallel line, though. Don't do that. Don't do the parallel line forever, because those parallel like lines, this collection of the parallel lines are the most difficult Sushiko we can think of. It's very, very, very difficult. Uh, <clears throat> because we cannot kind of make over the mistakes or, you know, since we're in the rhythm, every stitch looks even, but not 100% even. They look even, but not really even, like machine. And Parallel lying emphasize that. So it is okay if you if we don't mind that, but sometimes I do kind of feel a little bit embarrassed seeing embarrassed that it, it is too much showing of my sort of inner world. So that's why pattern patterns are very good to hide it. Patterns Patterns exist to hide those inner voice too. But if you want to see who you are, who you really are, the parallel line might be a good idea to do. But you probably don't want to show it. At least you don't want to, sh you know, display when you stitch. Outcome may be okay, but the process, whole process of stitching the parallel line and then face the outcome might be a little bit too much sharing. It's pretty much living together kind of thing. We have to be that close. So I think that's how this hundred meters asano started. I I I don't regret it, but another stupid thing to do. It's stupid, but I think, you know, watching this kind of running stitch explains a lot. I'm not making one stitch by one stitch. And if you make one stitch by one stitch, it is probably impossible to make 100 meters of asano patterns in one's life. Maybe possible, but I, I, I don't do that. I cannot do it. I, I don't think I can. If I have to make one stitch by one stitch, like, you know, with you using the embroidery hoop, I don't think I cannot. I mean, I don't even want to think about it if I could do it. So, this is probably a good example of what is the. How can we make those many stitches? without suffering. <laughs> ah, sorry. Something is stuck. I don't know how many people are addicted to Sashiko, but uh, sometimes well, if you addicted to Sashiko, you probably will start having a pile of the fabric you have stitched yet you have not decided what to use for. It's kind of a first sign of addiction. In order to use the fabric we stitch, we have to finish it to the bag. Well, you know, it's not something to usable. The fabric itself is not really useful. useful. So there's another step of completing the sashiko by making a bag or jacket or anything. 
but we sometimes prioritize or prefer stitching over that and if that happens there's going to be a little tiny pile kind of uh, growing every day every time you stitch hello ladies um welcome oh something is my something is in my ah air Wow. Ah! Guilty? Oh, there's one guilty person there. Welcome. But that's the luxury, that's the luxury choice we have. We don't have to stitch for the survival. Um, it's, you know, as I keep saying, if you have to stitch for survival, please go to the social service. There, we don't live in that age, so if you have to stitch for survival for tomorrow's tablet, please go to this, you know, some local social service. That's what we paid tax for. So we don't have to go through the same thing. We can just imagine to go through the same thing. Um, but we have a luxury to choose. It does not mean that, though, we should ignore what it was. We can acknowledge what it was and then keep doing that. I feel such a sense of accomplishment when I think of something to make a piece of stitching. I feel such a sense of accomplishment when I think of something to make a piece. Yeah, like, you know, making something is more challenging. Or like, that's a lot of work. Which I don't want to do too. <clears throat> Stitching itself is kind of not really like a. It's it's really not a task. What is gonna be? Like exercising, stretching, or going outside and run before going to sleep is a task. I have to make myself to do it, right? It can be like just push-ups. Anything is fine, but in order to keep my shape, doing those exercises at night is a task, and I often forget that. But I don't... I very miss brushing my teeth because I feel very e when I don't do that. So for me, such is brushing the teeth and making something out of the things I stitched is more like the exercise. So if I don't have to do it, if I if somebody can do it for me and I exact I get exactly the same result, I don't mind that. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, it's this guy. Oh, he's <laughs> sleepy. Just this, I'm so sleepy today, as always. Not always, but wow. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Oh, I, I know why. I've been doing a lot of stuff right now.
special. I wonder what I was talking before this live streaming. Um, it's 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 quite recent that I started offering the English live streaming like this weekly. It used to be very random, like a random, regular right live streaming. Sometimes on the Instagram, sometimes both Japanese and English that I kind of ha have to had to. Translate, translate here and there. So it is quite fairly recent that I offer every week live streaming, but I wonder what I was talking before. There's not that much things going on right now besides, you know, domestic car. And even Domestica, there's nothing going on after release. There's nothing like, not, not a nothing, but there's not that much things I can do. So, it's quite peaceful right now. <laughs> it's very peaceful, actually. When did it become so peaceful? Like three years, three years ago, I had to kind of, my heart was beating a lot when they opened Instagram. That's not, that's not a healthy sign. Like, I had to breathe in and out before I opened the Instagram. That's how bad it was to me. Right now, it's kind of... I don't... Mm, I don't prepare that anymore. I don't think I am going to have those nasty comments anymore. As the result, I feel a little strange. <laughs> like when I'm peaceful, I have not that much stuff to talk about. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Since it's kind of peaceful, I, I'm again the pit hole of like what is the things that I I have a lot of things I would like to share, but I don't know what is the things like well I probably have to list one by one. Oh, do you know why the Japanese people don't use the laminate flooring that much? <clears throat> if you lived in Japan or if you know Japanese housing, um, the traditional way to have a flooring is tatami, of course. Um, but you know, in the U.S., there are a lot of choice like vin vinyl, 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 laminate, wood, engineered wood, hardwood. Even bamboo right now. Um, this time I chose the laminate because it was the cheapest. But um, although it's really economical, not economically, it's financially friendly. And the Japanese people did not. What well, it's not really the popular option in Japan. So if you are the salesperson who sells the laminate flooring, we have to, not you, we, if we are the salesman team to sell that laminate flooring to Japan, we have to understand why it is not popular right now. Or even is it gonna be popular in the future? Uh, 
Like I often say culture, 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 but culture is not something difficult at all. Culture is something we do in our area, in our sort of zone. For example, I live in the Pennsylvania, so there are cultures in the Pennsylvania, so I have to... No, I don't have to, but the things, the majority of the people in the Pennsylvania in this area feels like normal or expected is the culture. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> understanding what is the expectation, understand what is normal is the understanding of culture. And when we kind of go across the nation, understanding the culture is very important, which means understanding what is normal to the people who live there is quite important too. Not to be successful, to avoid unfortunate misunderstanding. <clears throat> do I do you think I can go one more? Okay, let's go one more. Okay, after one more thread i will log off today if you're watching this live streaming as archive please leave the comment with the questions if you have so that i can answer those questions in the next live streaming on the thursday night i am a bit busy right now because of my you know my housework And I'm trying to rest. <laughs> when I'm, my daughter, my wife is not here, I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean much. I have to clean later, but uh, my standard of cleanness is uh, one-tenth of my wife's cleanness. So I don't have to really, you know, <laughs> I can clean later. So I try to rest as much as I can now. I'll come back again. Sorry. I'll come back next week with the different subject. Which, if you think of anything, that'd be very helpful because I can elaborate the stories based on that topic. Hi, bless you, Sakura. It's so sorry. It's ah. Uh. Excuse me, I'll go inside, sorry. Uh something gets flying. Do I have a cat allergy? Probably not, I hope not. Oh, this is probably because I didn't clean much this last week. Ah dust. <sighs> it's 
Sorry, my... I don't want to sneeze again to the camera or microphone. This should be a kind of on-off button, but it's not still dead. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, by the way, uh, if you have, if you had a chance to uh, do the domestic course, your review will be very much appreciated. And that those review helps me. I, I don't, uh, this is probably, it's okay to say it. Quite being honest, being honest, I don't know if I'm going to do the next one. They might ask me to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to write a proposal to them. Because... There's no because, but um, I, at this moment I don't plan to make another one. Um, but if there's any conditions or any you know future that I might make, those numbers of feedback and also the percentage makes a lot of difference. And that's what they said, so that'd be very helpful if you... And leave the review. And it's always nice to see. Okay, this is the last line. Oof. I hope you have a good weekend. It's June already. Oh my gosh, it's almost half of this 2023. It's crazy. But summer is coming. Summer is not the best time for Shiko, so kind of, you know, ease it out. If it's too hot, it's not really the best time to stitch because fabric makes your fingers and body hot. But it's okay. We can enjoy the AC and then stitch too. So I hope you have a very good night. And I will see you next week. Please leave the comment if you have any questions, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.